Hey there, Lindsay Bowden here, and in this video I want to show you how to graph and shade inequalities or systems of inequalities, and we're going to do it all in PowerPoint. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my PowerPoint presentation open here and I have created a graph in Excel. You can also just insert a graph piece of clip art. I have lots of graph clip art. I can put the link for that below in the description. So once you have your graph set up, you want to insert a line. So I'm going to go to the shapes tool and click the line. Now, if you want to have a specific slope, and if you're doing linear inequalities, you probably want a specific slope. I'm going to insert points. That way I can make sure my line is exactly how I want it. So I'm just going to start here. Let's say I want a slope of um, two thirds. So I'm going to put it here. So rise of two, run of three. And I'm going to make sure my line goes through those two points. It might take you a little bit to get it just right. Just kind of keep adjusting until it goes through the two points. And I'm going to thicken my line so you can double click it. I'm going to make it black and I'm going to make it a thickness of two. And then once you have the line with the slope that you want, if you don't want the points, you can just delete those afterwards. So there is my line. If you want it to be a dashed or dotted line, you can do that here, dash type. That would be if it's just less than or greater than. If it's less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, then you could keep it solid. And for the shading, I'm going to go back to Insert Shape. And you want to click on this shape. It's called the Freeform Shape. So click it. And then you're going to start. I always start on the left side of my graph. And you're going to place your cursor where you want it to start. And you're going to click once. And then you're going to go up. Follow the line that you made, and when you get to the end of the graph, you're going to click, and then you're going to go straight down the graph. You can see here, go straight down, and when you get to the bottom corner, you're going to click, and then you're going to go across, and when you get to the bottom corner, you're going to click, and then go back up. You can see it formed the shading, click, and then it's filled in. So now, Usually a inequality has a gray shading, so I'm going to change it to gray. And I don't want it to have a line around it because it's going to have an automatic blue line. I don't want that, so I'm going to click no line. And then I'm going to make it have a transparency of 50%. That way we can see through it. You can also do um, more, like 75%. Then you can see more of the graph. You can make it a little bit darker. Like that. Okay, so same thing for systems of inequalities. I already have my two lines drawn here. So let's say I want to shade this region. I'm going to do the freeform again. Start here. And then click. 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 And click. And then again, I want it to be gray. I want it to have... 75 or whatever kind of transparency you want with no line. And there you go. That's how you graph inequalities and system of inequalities using PowerPoint. I hope this video was helpful today. If you want more tips for creating your own math resources, then you can get my five-step cheat sheet by going to lindsaybowden.com forward slash cheat sheet.